This here is my girlfriend's car. I want to do her a favor and mortify it while she is in a meeting. Welcome back to another episode. This here is my girlfriend's car. It's a Nissan Tita 2012. And it's a convenient little thing if you don't care about cars. Very easy to drive, it's automatic. It's, you know, very simple. So simple, in fact, that it doesn't even have powered windows. But that isn't even my biggest cry. What I'm gonna do today for my girlfriend is change out this head unit for an aftermarket one. Because every time we get into this car and every time we go on a road trip, this thing here is bloody annoying. We've gotta hold our phones or keep our phones somewhere. So I wanna do her a favor and change that while she's in a meeting. We're just working from home. Right, so we're just working from the boot for now. So my girlfriend's in the house in a meeting. What did I get her? It's a generic Android system head unit. I actually gambled on this one because whatever company I got this from on AliExpress, this is the first one they've ever made for this car. There's the unit, there's that, and that just fits right on. And then we screw it in from the back. So I just leave that there for now. Also comes with a bunch of wiring harnesses, which I'm hoping is plug and play because that would make my life a lot easier. I'm gonna start by assembling this to here. I think I've got to break this one off. Yeah, like that. And this one will go right onto there. And that's it. Very simple. So that is now mounted to the fascia. Oh, that's pretty nice. Looking pretty good. Just gonna keep that down for a sec. Plug these harnesses in. They only go in one way. This one goes here. Yep, USB goes in there. Um, don't know what that is. This one's another USB. And these two are plugged into the car. It's a very simple unit. Um, GPS. Right. And then I'll leave it there. Go work on removing the stock head unit. This part is going to be different for every car, depending on which car you have. For this Nissan Tita, you've got to start off by removing this up there. All right, oh, that was very easy. Broke one tab, but generally pretty easy. Gotta undo these screws, keep them safe. Such an easy removal. So much more simple than my car, my Rexy. Such a simple removal, nothing more. Oh. And then remove that harness underneath. Already halfway done. God, it's bloody hot today. Very humid. All right. So that's the head unit. There we go. Simple as. Just two harnesses for this one. Might have to remove this one as well because they do include a fascia for this. All right, so just putting this back together now. I think the head unit goes in first and then this goes in last. I'm gonna try to see if this works first by plugging in the harnesses. That looks so good. So much better. Turn it on, give it a go. Hey, yeah, it works. Very nice. So for this one, you do lose that lid there, which is fine. Oh, very nice. So now that I know that this works, I can move this all onto there. I'll clean this up. And then we've got a very nice brand new head unit. This is on this side. There we go, very nice. And maybe I'll use this for the USB ports. Okay, finishing touches. Just gonna put this back in. The last time we put this in, very simple. This harness gotta go over here. I'm gonna hear Lucy barking in the audio now. That looks very, very good. This one, I think, can go in there. That's it, that's it. Oh, sugar. One thing I didn't check is to see if the speakers were working. This unit is so bloody pretty. Would have loved for this color, the champagne color to be black. Well, I guess it's the same color as the outside of this car. Champagne, piss kind of color. But, that still works. So good. All right, and that is it. What a good use of space. This is so much better than the stock one. 
Brilliant stuff. I'd love to show you my girlfriend's reaction, but she does not want to be on camera. So you're just gonna have to take it from me. This works very good. Very cheap from AliExpress. I think it was like $130 or something for this unit. And it's got the full wireless CarPlay, Android Auto, all that. And it does come with like all the EQ and all of that stuff. Must do upgrade for an old car like this. If you enjoyed watching this video, please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next episode.